Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. So guys, in this video, we are going to solve TCS NQT verbal ability questions, which are going to be very helpful for you for your upcoming TCS NQT exam. Make sure to watch the video till complete end for the best preparation. And before solving the videos, I would highly suggest you that pause the video and try to solve it own with that instead of directly watching the solutions. Okay, before we start the video, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet because I regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos on daily basis. I am running a complete series on TCS NQT where I am uploading videos on one one topic every day. So make sure that you watch the videos and prepare for the best for your upcoming TCS NQT. Let's get started with today's questions. Let's look at this question that we have. It is not easy to maintain tranquil when those around you dash so we have to complete the sentences by give uh, we are given different options let's read the options first of all option a is behave in a socially accepted ma acceptable manner option b is exhibit pleasant mannerism option c is are losing their heads option d is agree to whatever you say option e is exhibit generous and magnanimous gestures okay so the correct answer in this case is option C, which is are losing their heads. So the complete sentence would be something like this. It is not easy to remain to uncle when those around you are losing their heads. Okay. So the meaning of the sentence becomes what? So you can't stay calm when uh, people around you are not mature enough. Right. So moving on to the next question. The question is again, we have to fill in uh, the, we have to complete the sentence. Okay. By given from the, by selecting the answer from the given options the question is the food in this hotel is no match to what were food at late hours in hotel kohinur means okay dash and then we have the options the food in this hotel is quite good compared to what we ate at kohinur hotel kohinur served us good quality food then what we get here so this is the correct answer okay in this case so answer b is the correct one okay the food in this hotel is no match to what were foods at late hours in Hotel Kohinoor. This means what? It means Hotel Kohinoor served us good quality food. Then we are to be get here. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Although initial investigation pointed towards him dash. So let's see the options. The preceding events co corroborated his involvement in the crime. Option B is the additional information confirmed his guilt. The subsequent events established that he was guilty. The subsequent events proved that he was innocent. He gave an open confession of his crime. So the correct answer in this case will be option number D. Okay, let's read the statement. Although initial investigation pointed towards him, the subsequent events proved that he was innocent. Okay, so see it is although which means the sentence will say something uh, uh, not continuation right so we are saying although the investigation pointed towards him but okay which means but or something which is not in the similar to what is said in the statement right we are saying although right so there is some more part of the sentence which is not saying the same which were already which is already spoken in the sentence okay now let's move on to the next one the weather outside was extremely pleasant and hence we decided to dash the options are utilize our time in watching the television, refrain from going out for a morning walk, enjoy a morning ride in the open, employ this rare opportunity for writing letters, remain seated in our rooms in the bungalow. See, see, uh, one by one we will eliminate the options which cannot be the answer. So see, if the weather outside is good, we will not utilize our time in watching the television inside, right? So this cannot be the answer. Refrain from going out for a morning walk. Why we would we refrain? Why? If it is not raining or something, it is a good or pleasant uh, environment which where we have to go out and enjoy it, right? So this cannot be the answer. Enjoy a morning ride in the open. Yes, this can be the answer because here we are talking about going out and enjoying the weather. So for now, let us consider this as the option. But let's also read the other options also. Employ this rare opportunity for writing letters. Again, writing letter is an indoor activity. So why we would do it in a pleasant environment? But uh, because C seems to be a greater or a correct match in this case. Okay, let's read the last option. Remain seated in our rooms in the bungalow. Again, why we, wish, why we would sit indoors uh, if the weather outside is very good, right? So hence the correct answer in this case is going to be option number C. Moving on to the next question. It is an uphill task, but you will have to do it. 
this means what okay so we are given a statement we have to tell that this statement means what okay let's see the options that we have the work is about the hill and you will have to do it option b is it is a very easy task but you must do it option c is it is a very difficult task but you have to do it option d is this work is not reserved for you but you will have to do it and option e is it is almost impossible for others but you can do it see it is an uphill task uphill means what something which is tough okay but you have you will have to do it so even though if it is tough you have to do it let's see the options once again the work is above the hill and you will have to do it see this is the literal meaning uphill is above the hill but here uphill means tougher work okay so that is why this is not the correct one it is very easy task but you must do it so this is the opposite of uh, tough right it is not easy it is tougher task so that is why you have to do it it is a very difficult task but you have to do it yes this seems to be correct let's see the other two options this work is not reserved for you but you will have to do it so here we are not talking about reserve or unreserved work we are talking about hard work it is almost impossible for others but you can do it so we have not told that it is impossible or possible for others uh, we were told that it is an uphill task uphill means tougher task okay so that is why the correct answer in this case is going to be option number c let's move on to the next one so the next question is you are thinking very highly about ravi but he is not so okay means what so we are given a statement that you are thinking very highly about ravi but he is not so let's see the options that we have now very highly about what you are having uh, very high thoughts or you are thinking uh, too good about ravi okay something like that now let's see the options which fit in so first one is ravi is as good as you but uh, as good as you think about him no as i told you right uh, you are think you are thinking too much good about him he is not that well also so let's see the second option you have a good opinion about ravi but he is not as good as you think so see this one seems to be correct one let's see the other ones your view about ravi is philosophical keep it up no ravi is much better than what you think of him no you have a good opinion about ravi but he does not have a good opinion about you here we are not talking about opinion we are just talking about that you are thinking too much good about him even though in reality he is not that much good also how much you think okay so option b is the correct meaning of the given statement to us let's move on to the next question now the question is anand is stuck up a friendship with manish in just two days okay so let's see the different options we have we basically have to tell what is the meaning of this sentence let's read the options that we are given first option is anand's friendship with mahesh came to an end recently option b is anand found out the other friends of mahesh anand fixed a deal with mahesh in two days anand's friendship with mahesh lasted for two years anand became a friend of mahesh in less than two days okay let's first of all understand what the sentence is trying to say anand stuck up a friendship with mahesh in just two days which means anand made the friendship with mahesh in just two days or anand that mahesh became friends within just two days okay that is the literal meaning of this sentence let's try to see which all are the options which are correct or wrong first thing is anand's friendship with mahesh came to end and recently no we are not talking about ending the relationship uh, or friendship basically we are talking about they became how soon they became friends okay option b is anand found out the other friends of mahesh no Anand fixed a deal with Mahesh in two days. No, it's not about a deal. It's about friendship. And Anand's friendship with Mahesh lasted for two years. No, we are not talking about two years, and we are not even talking about lasting the friendship. Let's see this one. Anand became a friend of Mahesh in less than two days. This is the most correct option. Okay, so hence correct answer is going to be option number A. That is, Anand became a friend of Mahesh in less than two days. Moving on to the next question now. The next question is although. he is reputed for making very candid statements now we have to complete the statement okay and you know like all those statements are there which means something else apart from what is being said is there okay we have to find that out now let's see the statements that we have his today his today's speech was not fairly audible his promises had an always been realistic his speech was very interesting people follow whatever he instructs to them his today's statements were very ambiguous so the correct answer in this case is although he is reputed for making very good candid statements but his today's statements were very ambiguous okay so the correct answer is option number e basically in all those statement what happens is whatever is spoken in the first part usually something opposite to that will be spoken in the second part okay so the correct answer in this case is option number e let's now move on to the next question that we have the question is the manager would like you to help dheeraj this means what okay this is a pretty straight forward uh, like message or statement the manager would like you to help dheeraj simply okay let's see the options that we have the options are the manager would like you uh, if you help dheeraj no this is not the case okay it, the statement does not means this 
नेक्स्ट इज द मैनेजर डिजाइर यू टू हेल्प धीरज येस दिस इज करेक्ट वन बिकॉज मैनेजर वुड लाइक यू टू हेल्प धीरज मीन्स येस मैनेजर वॉन्ट्स यू दैट यू हेल्प धीरज लेट्स इज द नेक्स्ट वन द मैनेजर लाइक्स यू बिकॉज यू हेल्प धीरज नो हेयर लाइक यू डज नॉट मीन्स द पर्सन फीलिंग ऑफ लाइक हेयर लाइक यू मीन्स वॉन्ट्स यू ओके नेक्स्ट इज धीरज एक्सपेक्ट्स मैनेजर टू टेल यू अबाउट टेल यू टू हेल्प हिम नो इट विल बी हेल्प टू द मैनेजर इफ यू लाइक धीरज नो So the correct answer in this case is obviously option number B. That is, the manager wants that you help Dheeraj. Okay, hence the correct answer is option B. Let's move on to the next one now. Owing to accurate power shortage, the people of our locality have decided to dash. Okay, and let's see the options that we have. Dispense with other non-conventional energy sources. Resort to abundant use of electricity for illumination. Off switch the electrical appliance when while not in use. Explore other avenues for utilizing the excess power. Option E is resort to use of electricity only when it is inevitable. So the correct answer in this case is going to be option E. Let's read the statement once again. Owing to the accurate power shortage, the people of our locality have decided to resort to use of electricity when it is inevitable. Which means because of power shortage, the people of our locality have decided that we will reduce the use of electricity whenever it is possible. Okay. Let's now move on to the next question. Okay, this is our next question where he we have a sentence we have to complete it. Okay, he has no money now. The options are although he was very poor once, as he has given up all his wealth because he was very rich once, because he has received huge donation, because he he was very greedy about wealth. See, the uh, we have a statement we have to complete it with the most appropriate one. Okay, see, he has no money now. Although he was very poor once, does not make sense because right now no money also means kind of poor, right? So does not make sense. Second one, as he has given up all his wealth, he has no money now. As he has given up all his wealth, this makes sense, right? Why he has no money? Because he has given up all his wealth, right? Let's see the other options. Because he was very rich once, does that make sense? He was once rich and now he has no money. Does there is no no direct connection, right? Something should happen because of which uh, he has no money now, right? Because he has received huge donation. If he would have received huge donation, then he would have become much richer, right? This is also not the correct option. Because he was very greedy about wealth. So if he is greedy about wealth, that does not claims that you know he is having no money or he is poor now. So this is also wrong. So the correct answer in this case is going to be option number B. that is as he has given up all his wealth moving on to the next one he is so lazy that he and we have the different options let's see the options that we have cannot depend on others for getting his work done option b is cannot delay the schedule of completing the work option c is can seldom complete his work on time dislike to postpone the work that he undertakes to do always help others to complete their work see if you read the other options since he is lazy right so obviously he won't help others to complete their work he will di uh, dislike to postpone the work that he under undertakes to do obviously not because he is lazy right so these are not the uh, qualities of a lazy person first one also if you see cannot depend on others for getting his work done no lazy people always wants that uh, you know uh, their work should be done by someone else cannot delay the schedule of completing the work obviously no he is lazy so he will get his work done late can seldom complete his work on time so this is the correct one he hardly can complete his work on time okay that this the correct answer is option number c moving on to the next one dinesh is as stupid as he is lazy means what see we have different options let's see dinesh is stupid because he is lazy no dinesh is as stupid as he is lazy means what okay so let's see the second option dinesh is lazy because he is stupid no Dinesh is either stupid or lazy. No, we are not talking about either or. Dinesh is hardly stupid, but he is lazy. No, Dinesh is equally stupid and lazy. So this is correct, right? Because as stupid as lazy means what? How much he is stupid? That much he is lazy also. Okay, so equally stupid and lazy. The correct answer will be option number E. Okay, hope you have understood it. Let's now move on to the next question. Next question is this one. Practically, very little work could be completed in the last week. as it was dash the options are full of working days okay see first of all if the last week was full of working days then more would work would have gotten done right so this is not the correct one a very hectic week uh, no if it is a hectic week also how could directly relate to very little work could get done right no 
full of holidays yes this can be the one because if there is no working days or there are less working days in a week because of holidays then it is very obvious that the work delivered will be less right let's see the next option that we have a very busy week no again if it is a busy week then we would have completed more work right loaded with work also is not the one because if it is loaded with work then we would have finally completed more work so the correct answer in this case is option number c which is full of holidays so guys, uh, so far we have done a practice a lot of question. Now I have a DIY question for all of you. DIY as in you need to solve this question by your own. I will not be telling you the answers of this question. What you need to do, you need to solve this question by your own and you have to write down the answer of this question in the comment section. And I will see if you have answered the correct, uh, correct answer or not. Let's see the option question that we have. Because he believes in demographic democratic principles, he always, and we have the options, decides all matters himself listens to others views and enforce his own shows respect to others opinions if they match his own reconciles with majority views and given up his own imposes his own views on others okay so make sure that you comment down the correct answer so that's all for today guys i hope you found the video helpful if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section make sure to join me on telegram and instagram as well you can ask your queries in the instagram dm as well and if you need any content you can request it on your on our telegram channel Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates. I regularly post off-campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video.